Auto attendants are used to route calls to various destinations, employees within your company, specific groups of employees, voicemail, or other outside numbers. They provide callers with your company greeting and dialing menu options. Administrators can create and modify an auto attendant and its settings in Control Hub. Let's take a look at how to create a new auto attendant. Go to Services and choose Calling. Select Features and then Auto Attendant. Click Create Auto Attendant. This pop-up walks you through setting up your auto attendant. Determine the location where you want this auto attendant assigned. Enter a name for the auto attendant. This name is simply used to identify the auto attendant in Control Hub. Assign a primary phone number and or extension. Choose the language from the dropdown. The language assigned here will be used for the default voice greeting, as well as other voice prompts based on menu settings. Enter the calling line ID first and last name. This is the caller ID used when calls are transferred or forwarded out of this auto attendant. Click Next. Here is where we're going to set the hours during which the business hours auto attendant operates. You can choose from an existing schedule from the dropdown. Or you can create a new schedule here. Click Next to save and continue. Now let's set the days during which your holiday auto attendant operates. You can choose from an existing schedule from the dropdown, or you can create a new schedule here. Here is where you determine the dialing menu options on both the business hours and after hours tabs. Use the dropdown menu to assign each keypad number a function. Options include not used. This is the default when an action has not been selected for that digit or character. Transfer call without prompt. This action routes callers to a phone number that is not a user or extension within the company. For example, a third-party answering service or corporate call center. With this option, callers will not hear a prompt telling them that they're being transferred. Transfer call with prompt. This action routes callers to a phone number that is not a user or extension within the company. For example, a third-party answering service or corporate call center. With this option, callers will hear a prompt telling them that they are being transferred. Transfer to Operator. This action redirects callers who do not choose an option from the auto attendant dialing menu or timeout to a configured operator. If you choose to enable this action, enter the phone number to which to route callers. Note, this action must be assigned to a key before the timeout function is supported. When enabled, the caller will be transferred to the configured number when the key assigned is pressed or if no keys are hit after 10 seconds, which is the timeout period. Dial by name. This action permits callers to dial by recipient name using the letters on the keypad. Dial by extension. This action lets callers dial by recipient extension using the numbers on the keypad. Repeat menu. If selected, this action will repeat the greeting in menu options. Exit menu. This action allows callers to exit the menu system. This will terminate the call. Transfer call to voicemail. This selection places callers directly into the voicemail box of the phone number or extension entered. To allow callers to dial an extension without a menu prompt, check the box next to Enable Extension Dialing without requiring a menu item. Once your sections have been made on the Business Hours and After Hours tabs, select Next to save and continue. Here is where you select the greetings, also known as announcements, that will be played for both business hours and after hours. You can choose to play the default greeting, or you can select custom greeting to upload an audio recording, or record your own greeting. Once your selections are made, select Next. Review the details on each tab to confirm, and select Create to save. Then select Done. Your auto attendant is now created and available. To